built this little round house with a grass roof out of sandbags during lockdown, but quite a few people don't seem to sort of grasp what it's actually built like. I'm now building sort of a little low one, little three bag high wall, four bag high wall, around the edge of the house and parking area, etc. So I just thought I'd show you exactly how it's put together. Firstly, you obviously need to fill a lot of sandbags, and I'm filling them with this sort of hogging, it's called. So it's sand, but it's got a really high clay content, as you can see. Once it sort of got wet and dries out, it forms rock hard lumps. That's literally the hardest part of it, filling the bags, as all the rest of it, super simple. And then what we're doing is just plonking them on top of each other, little little wall. As you can see, because this is a low one, it doesn't even matter really about overlapping them, because the main strength comes when you start slapping on render in all the joins. As you can see, I've just put these little blobs on, because I was doing something else and had a bit of spare, so I've just started blocking up the joins, and this wall's already like, pretty sturdy so works well but the other side you can sort of see how I'm building it I'm building a layer at a time and I'm using this tool here which is pretty much just a heavy flat hammer you build a layer whack them down compress the bags and as you can see that goes to a really hard flat surface and then yeah just add more bags on add more bags on till you get your desired height this is more details in sort of some of the build bid and videos I did on the roundhouse, but if you're doing higher walls and you want them to be stronger, so basically if you're building a structure to actually use rather than just a wall, you're going to want to put layers of barbed wire in between each bag row. I won't show you now because I don't have any barbed wire, but basically you're just running the barbed wire all the way along the top of a bag using bricks or whatever to weigh the wire on, and then you come along and put your bag on top of the barbed wire, and that acts as a velcro to stop sort of any lateral movement in them. And once you've got your top layer of render over the bags, you can look anywhere you want, like any kind of render really. I've left it like this bit of a rugged look because I liked it. And just painted it all black. You can just, like the roundhouse, go for any finish you want again, but just leave it its natural colour, like I did with this. This is just the sand colour from the sand that I used for the render. Yeah, I am literally using sandbags to build stuff with. So, hope that clarifies it a little bit for some of those people who are getting a bit confused. Well, if you've got any more questions, as always, drop them in the comment box and I'll do my best to get back to you. Bye-bye.